Hey everyone, Coach Paul here with the Bank Fitness Power Clean Club. Our lift that we focused on today was the back squat in our meetup. Like any of the big three, technique is very important when performing this lift. More importantly, the setup. Specifically, I'm actually gonna to talk to you guys today about how to take the bar out of the rack. So the common line of thought in previous years was create a really, really big arch in your low back and use only your low back muscles to take the bar out. So it looks like this. I'm gonna get right underneath behind the bar in essence, and then instead of putting my whole body into it, I'm just gonna use my low back and arch it out. There are a couple reasons from a core stability standpoint that we don't wanna do this. So I'm gonna offer you a better alternative or way to think about it. Um, the visualization that I use is I think about my rib cage as a faucet that's spilling water out of it. And I think about my pelvis or my hips as a bucket trying to catch the water. If I'm like this, all that invisible water is spilling out when you actually wanna be filling up the bucket. So try to keep this position, think about your whole upper body as one nice straight line that doesn't break. And instead of arching the bar out using only your low back, drive your hips forward or push your feet through the floor to take the bar out of the rack, okay? It looks like this. So my rib cage is down over my pelvis, my body's in one straight line, and I'm just gonna squeeze my butt, stand up with the bar, and then take my steps out do my squat. Okay, try out your own training. Let me know what you think. Just remember, keep that faucet pouring into the bucket. See you guys next week.